Welcome to Mixed Tape Videos. This is the first installment in a new series of videos where we'll discuss the worst trades in NBA history. In each video, we'll examine the worst trades made by each NBA franchise. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you are subscribed, turn on notifications so you never miss a video, because you know you only get one like once a year, so you don't want to miss it. Today, we're looking at the Charlotte Hornets, the original franchise who moved to New Orleans and is now known as the New Orleans Pelicans. We'll cover the new Charlotte Hornets in another video. For now, here are the worst trades made by the Charlotte Hornets slash New Orleans Pelicans slash not the current Charlotte Hornets. Okay, whatever. Here are some really bad trades that we can all laugh at. Larry Johnson to the New York Knicks for Anthony Mason. In 1991, the Charlotte Hornets selected Larry Johnson with a number one overall pick. The following year, they grabbed Alonzo Mourning with a second pick. The future was looking bright for the Hornets. They had two young, athletic, talented players. After the Hornets signed Larry Johnson to the biggest contract in NBA history, $84 million for 12 years, the relationship between Mourning and Johnson went downhill. Both of them wanted to be the leader of the franchise and didn't want to share the spotlight. Mourning made it clear that he wanted to get paid. The Charlotte Hornets were not going to be able to give him what he wanted, so they traded him to the Miami Heat in a not-so-good deal, but they got back an all-star player who stayed for three years, so it wasn't awful. However, the following season, after struggling without Mourning, the Hornets made a worse decision. They traded Larry Johnson to the Knicks for a 30-year-old Anthony Mason. He only stayed with the Hornets for four seasons and then went on to play in Miami of all places. The fact that the Hornets had one of the best young front courts and then blew the whole situation had to be frustrating for any Charlotte Hornets fan at the time. Chris Paul to the LA Clippers for Al Farouk Aminu, Eric Gordon, Chris Kamen, and a 2012 first round pick. Now, to be fair, the Hornets had no option but to trade Chris Paul. With two years left on his contract, he let the organization know that he would be leaving as a free agent and he would rather be traded than wait for that time to come. So, in return for one of the best point guards in NBA history in his prime, the Hornets got back Al Farouk Aminu, who only averaged seven points per game and then left after just three seasons, Eric Gordon, who missed almost 200 games due to injury in the five seasons he was with the team, Chris Kamen, who only played 47 games in a Hornets uniform, and finally, probably the most valuable asset that Charlotte got, a 2012 first round pick who ended up being Austin Rivers, who ironically was acquired by the Clippers two years later. Yeah, the Clippers did win a championship with Chris Paul, but they definitely won this trade. Green on Paul. And God, he got it! One second left! Clippers by two! Baron Davis to Golden State for Speedy Claxton and Dale Davis. Baron Davis was never an MVP caliber player, but he was an all-star and for one year even an all-NBA player. For the first few years of his career, Davis showed a lot of potential. In just his third season, he averaged 18 points, 8 assists, and 4 rebounds and hadn't missed a single game. However, the next couple of seasons were affected by injuries. Even though he was still putting up good numbers when he was on the court, the Hornets didn't want to put the future of their franchise in the hands of a guy who looked like he wouldn't be able to stay healthy. The fact that he didn't get along with the coach didn't help the situation. So they decided to trade him. What did they get back? They gave away an all-NBA caliber player for Speedy Claxton, who was an 11 point per game scorer, and Dale Davis, who only played 36 games with the Hornets. Baron Davis ended up averaging 20 points, 8 assists, and 4.5 and rebounds in his time in the Bay Area and led one of the most surprising upsets in NBA history when the Warriors beat the number one seeded Dallas Mavericks as the eighth seed in the 2007 playoffs. The draft rides to the number 13 pick of the 1996 draft to the Lakers for Vladi Divac. So for the ones who don't know, Kobe was drafted with a 13th pick by the Hornets and was traded just minutes after. 
Jerry West had an eye for talent and was determined to get the player who went on to become a 15-time All-NBA player, a 5-time champion, and as some people would argue, the greatest player of all time. The Hornets didn't want Kobe that much anyway, so they didn't hesitate to swap him for Vladi Divac, a 7-year veteran who didn't have any problems getting double-doubles, but at this point in his career wasn't necessarily a game-changer. The Lakers, on the other hand, got one of the 10 greatest players ever. We'll never know, but maybe if he wasn't traded that night, the Hornets would have stayed in Charlotte and there would be two or three championship banners hanging in their arena rafters. So those are the worst trades made by the Charlotte Hornets slash New Orleans Pelicans, at least according to us. What do you think were the worst trades made by them? What do you think were the worst trades ever? Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for more NBA videos like this one. Bam shakalaka, got it done.